please give me the red sign. Huh? Red? That means I'm the queen. Mom, look, I got the red mark. Mom, I got the red mark. Wow, that's great, honey. I trust you more than your sister. What? There are two red marks, right? That means there's two queens. But if there's two queens, then... Nope, no, I don't want to imagine it. I got a blue mark. I got red. What? You got red? Same as your sister? Are you sure you didn't fake it? Confess. What the heck is wrong with you, Jenny? Hey, sis. I know you faked your mark. You colored it in yourself. What? No, I got red. You're the one who faked it. It's time for you to tell the truth. Okay, keep lying. But soon, I'll find out the truth myself. Amara, admit it. Did you color it in yourself? What is wrong with you people? You don't believe me? I have the real red mark. If that's true, come with me. We have to prove that your sign is real. Let's do it. How do we prove it? Hey, I have this makeup removing tissue for you. Anyone who doesn't have a sign after trying to remove the mark off the face is a fake. Okay, I'll remove it now. See? It's still there. Mine's still there too. This is weird. We'll prove it again later. Yeah, and everyone's gonna know that my mark is real. Alright, we'll see when we prove it. I still don't believe you. You colored it in with a permanent marker, right? Uh, what the hell? There's no such thing as permanent markers. Just watch out. How is it possible that her mark didn't disappear? Hey, I have cotton and water. This will remove everything, even permanent markers. Okay. See? My color's still there. So is mine. What? I swear, I don't understand anymore. How can her sign not disappear? I told you I'm the original red mark. Okay, we're gonna have to find another way to prove it. Amara pretends to be queen when everyone knows that her sister deserves it more. Yes, I agree. She's not suitable for the role. Are you Amara? Yeah, why do you care? I just want to say something. Do you know why your sister's mark won't disappear? Why? The mark she has is no ordinary mark. Huh? What mark is it? It's a magical mark that can't be erased easily. I'm only here to find out who the real queen is. Okay, what should I do now? Hey, give her this drink. When she drinks this, her mark will disappear. Hey sis, are you ready to be embarrassed in front of everyone because your mark is fake? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Everyone knows I'm more suitable to be queen. Anyways, see you later. Anyone have any proof suggestions today? I do. So, we have to drink this. Whoever's mark disappears is a faker. Okay, I agree. Let's start now. Okay, so, because this is my drink, you'll go first, sis. Okay, I'll drink it now. Done. It's your turn now. Okay. My mark's still here. We have to wait one minute for it to work. So, how long does it take for the drink to work on her? For the drink to work, you have to wait one minute. Okay, got it. Thank you. Well, as I predicted, her mark is gone, meaning I was right all along. She faked it. Whoa, that's bad. So you're the fake one? Amara was right. No, she's lying. Please, forgive us, Queen, for doubting you. You're a liar. I'll prove it. Hey, sis, because you lied about your mark, you're going to be my assistant for a whole year and do whatever I say. I hope I get the crown symbol so I can live in the palace and marry the prince. Huh? An upside-down crown? I thought there was only two symbols, a crown and a leaf. How did I get an upside down crown? Mom, there's something wrong with my symbol. What? Upside down crown? That means you're the enemy of the palace. What? Yeah, cover up quickly before anyone sees it. Why did I get the symbol? Why couldn't they just give me an ordinary crown? Oh look, you got the leaf symbol just like everyone else. And I see you got the crown symbol. Congrats. Thanks. If I marry the prince, I'll invite you. See you later. I swear the system has an error. How can an arrogant person like Nancy get the crown symbol? You really think it's good to live in the palace? Yeah, why wouldn't it be? Those who got the crown symbol will be forced to marry the king who's already had 12 wives in the past. And what's worse is that they can't refuse it. Marry the king? That's crazy. Isn't he like in his 80s or something? And if that was true, why is everyone competing to get the crown symbol? That's because they don't know what's actually going on in the palace. How do you know? You have a leaf symbol. Because I used to live there. 
How did you live in the palace with that symbol? Believe it or not, my original symbol was. Hurry up, everyone with a leaf symbol has to get to class. From now on, everyone with a leaf symbol has to stay in this class. But this class is so full, there's barely enough space for everyone. I'm getting claustrophobic. Oh my gosh, this is your new class. Oh, ew, what's that smell? Why is there so many people here? Why are you here, Nancy? I thought you'd already be on the way to the palace by now. None of your business. Those with leaf signs are only allowed to eat yogurt. You're not allowed to eat anything containing meat. What? But why? I was just about to buy a hamburger. Oh, sorry you can't eat any meat. Hey, you can have my burger. But just to let you know, I spat on it. Hey, Nancy, don't talk to people with leaf symbols. Sorry, sir. I was just saying hi to my old friend. Hey, Aiden, can you believe it? There's more than two symbols. How do you know? Come with me to the girls' toilet. Are you insane? I'm a guy. I'm not going to go to the girls' toilet. Just come, I want to show you my symbol. Hurry up, I can't be seen in here. Here, see, this is my original symbol, upside down crown. Do you know what it means? <gasps> An upside down crown? That means you. And that means you're the king's huh? greatest enemy. How comes your answer is exactly like my mother's? That means she wasn't lying. You don't trust your own mother? I mean, only sometimes, because usually my family gives me money and she says she's going to hold it for me, but she uses it on school fees. Do you even know anything about symbols? I used to read in my grandpa's history book. He said everyone that got the upside down crown must take the king's throne. What? Steal the king's throne? Are you crazy? Don't make things up, Aiden. It's really bad. And if in three days you don't take the king's crown, you're going to die. That's what's written in the book. I'm going to die in three days? No, I don't believe you. I need proof. Where's the proof? You want proof? Come with me tonight. We're going to the grave. To the grave at night? Are you insane? We're going to find my grandpa's history book. I hid it in the grave. Why are we walking towards the palace anyways? When are we going to your grandpa's grave? My grandpa's buried at the palace. Buried at the palace? I thought only royals were buried at the palace. Um, to be honest, this is my symbol. Adrian, your symbol's a crown. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Shh, don't speak too loud. I'll tell you later, but for now, let's find a safe place. Your symbol only showed when you turned 17, right? My symbol was there my whole life because my dad was king. Oh, so you're the son of the previous king. You're a prince then. Yes, the current king has an upside down crown, just like so you. So he was the one who killed your dad? Yes, he killed him the day he found out about his symbol. He killed my mom too because she refused to be his wife. But how come none of this is in the news? Yes, because things like this are common in the palace. Seize the throne, share the wife. Wow, all this time I thought royals had the perfect life. But wait, why does this symbol even exist? If the upside down crown didn't exist, the world would have been much safer and no one would fight over the throne. Okay, I've decided to take the king's throne. Are you sure? Yes, and besides, I don't even want the throne like that. I just don't want to die. You're the one who said I have three days. Yes, that's right. Okay, if that's the case, I'll show you the secret passage to the palace. Without the gods seeing you. Oh yeah, here's a weapon for you. It's poison. Why did you give me this? Oh, so that you can... Amara, Amara, I've called you a hundred times and you didn't hear me. I'm tired of calling oh, you. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you, mom. I need to get your hearing sharpened. Huh? Guys, my sense of hearing is getting sharpened, so you can't whisper around me anymore. What? Seriously? Yes, it was my mom's choice. Does that mean your ears will change too? Change? What do you mean? Yeah, they're gonna look weird. Oh, look, they already did. Why are my ears so long? I feel bad for her ears. They're so long, they make her look ugly. Why are you so rude to me? Huh? I was whispering. How come you heard that? So, I can hear everything now? Is this even a good thing? I should probably give the class a sudden exam. Sir, please don't. I haven't studied yet. What? I didn't even say anything out loud. I was just thinking it. I can hear people's thoughts? Um, sorry. No, maybe I heard wrong. Well, since I got caught, I'll just cancel it. Jess, I think there's something wrong with my ears. What's wrong? I think I can hear people's thoughts. If that's true, try listening to that new guy's thoughts. Okay. So, can you hear anything? Nope, nothing at all. Those ears attract a lot of attention. Yeah, I know. My ears are different than the others. No, not because of that. You can hear people's thoughts. How did you know that? I'm gonna help you hear the new boy's thoughts. Sir, where did the new student come from? I don't know, but you have to be friends with him. You want me to be friends with him? Yes, you're good at making friends. 
Plus, I want you to get some information from me. But why? It doesn't matter. Just do what I say. The school must be hiding a big problem. Hi, nice to meet you. So, you're new here, right? He won't understand you. He only talks in sign language. Yeah, I'm new here. If you want to get to know me, meet me after school. Wait, so you can talk? I know you can talk. You just pretend to be mute. I want to take you somewhere and you're going to have to listen to people's thoughts. What? No, I'm not going to listen to anyone's thoughts. Just trust me, you're not going to regret it. We have to break into this house. But this is our teacher's house. I don't want to. I could get expelled. Just do it for everyone's sake. What's wrong with this house anyway? I think there's people outside. We need to leave this place right now before we get caught. Run! No, if we run, we won't be able to hear the teacher's secrets. You listen then. I'm not trying to get caught. Just one more time, please. You won't regret it. Someone's definitely listening to our conversation. No, I can't. I need to go home. Mom, I'm home. I saw that test you hid under the bed. You got an F. You're so dumb. You don't have to shout. My ears hurt. You're lucky I don't ground you. You should be ashamed of yourself. Sis. What? Why were you outside the teacher's house listening to our conversation? Why were you there? Oh, um, he helps me with homework. Private lessons? Seriously? Isn't that weird? Nope, not at all. Why are your ears smaller than before? They are. Maybe because you're abusing them. I don't care if I lose my ears. It'll be better for me because then my friends will stop using me. Wait, wait. Wait, what do you mean? The more you use your ears, the more likely they'll disappear. That's exactly what I want. But if that happens, you'll never know what the new kid wants from you. Yeah, you're right. Did you get any information about that child? Yes, sir. Yesterday he took me to your house. Huh? To my house? No wonder I was hearing people outside. What were you guys doing? He told me to listen to your conversations, but I, I don't know why. Good. Keep reporting to me, okay? I will now announce the test results. Sarah, you got the highest grades in class. Sarah? My sister? New kid, you got the second highest. You have to go to your teacher's house again to get proof. What proof? That he's helping your sister cheat on the exam. The new kid deserves to be ranked number one in your class. Your teacher has really bad intentions. You look so beautiful today with that dress. I think the teacher's with his wife. Congratulations on being ranked number one in class today. Ranked number one? That means... Sarah, what are you doing here? What do you think? You're going out with the teacher? You should be ashamed of yourself. I have to find a new kid. Don't worry, I've already called the police and they've arrested the teacher. But how? You don't have any proof. Yesterday when you left, I installed a camera in his house, so I have all the proof that I need. You're a genius. Amara, wait, you got the spade symbol. Spade symbol? What do you mean, mom? Yes, the symbol on your cheek. The government is holding a game for all the people in this country. And those who win this game will get unlimited money. I think this game is quite interesting. What game is that? The point is, we have to tell them what symbol we got. And if we get it wrong, we get shot in the head. Wait, what? Shot? Does that mean if I guess it wrong, I die? Yep, that's the consequence. But mom, isn't it easy to tell what symbol I have on my face? I can just look at myself in the mirror and see what symbol I got. No, you can't, because they've destroyed and removed all mirrors, glass, and any reflection in the world, even water. Huh? They even removed water? What if I'm thirsty and I want to drink? If you're thirsty, you're just going to have to eat fruits, like a watermelon. I swear this game doesn't make any sense. It's like the government wants to kill us all. No, the aim of this game is money. Imagine having unlimited money. We can buy whatever we want. Anyway, you have to go to school now. You're going to be late. But mom, before you go, can you tell me what symbol I got on my face? Yeah, it's a red heart. Okay, thank you so much, honey. I still don't get it. What's the purpose of this game? Hey, Amara, you got a spade too. It's the same huh? as my symbol. Your symbol is a diamond. Who told you it was a spade? Diamond? Are you serious? Yes, it's a diamond. Who said spade? My twin sister. Huh? Your twin sister? You know how much she hates you. Why would you believe anything she says? And besides, you do know that if you get it wrong, you'll be shot straight away, right? I know she hates me, but why would she want me dead? I can't believe You're she so lied naive. to You're so naive. Anyway, from now on, just ask me. I won't lie to you. Please make your way to the rooms. One person, one room. Got it? It's already started. Alright, now answer what symbol is on your cheek. Um, 
Spade. Amara, I'm still alive because of you. I swear, I owe you my life. One day I'll repay you. No, it's fine. I'm happy that you're safe. But this game seems too easy. How do we even win? We need to find the king of this game to win. The king of this game? Yes, if we know who the king is and lie to him about his symbol, he'll automatically die but and we'll get all his how money. do you know who the king is? I don't know. All I know is we have to find him. Sis, the symbol on your cheek is a heart. Isn't that your twin brother? Your symbol is a club. Why is he saying a heart? I don't know. Round number two will start soon. Please, all of you, go to your room. Round two already started. I need to go. By the way, the symbol on your cheek is a club, not a heart, okay? Thank you. And yours is a spade again. Okay, thank you so much. Second round. Now answer. What is the symbol on your cheek? Um, spade? Huh? What was that sound? Whoa, someone just died. Seriously, this game really kills people, doesn't hey, it? Hey, earlier I saw you lie to your twin about her symbol. Don't tell me you did this to test if the game was real or not. I mean, yeah, but I didn't think it would be real. You're really dangerous, you know that. Don't tell me you're the... Don't tell me you're the king. Me? What? No, I'm on your side. I want to find the king as much as you do. I think we should work together, and when we find the king, we can split the money at the end. Okay, fine. I'll tell you your symbol, and you tell me mine. Okay, deal. <sighs> I'm so tired. Dad, what are you doing in my room? And who's that? Are you cheating on mom? Look, honey, it's not what it looks like. Please don't say anything to your mom. Good morning, honey. I've made breakfast for you. That's a fast. Are you doing all this so I don't tell mom you cheated on her? No, look, could you just tell me what symbol I have on my cheek today? Yeah, it's a diamond. A diamond. Okay, thank you. His symbol is actually a heart. The third round will start in five minutes. Please go to your assigned rooms. This early in the morning? Don't forget, honey. Your symbol is a spade. Okay, dad. And don't forget, yours is a diamond. I won't. See you soon. Third round. Now answer what symbol is on your cheek. Spade. Ha! Die, you cheater. How could he lie to my mom and cheat on her like that? In my room too. And think I'm not going to lie to him about his symbol. Hey, Amara. I have news about the king. Someone said that the king actually goes to our school. Are you serious? Who did you hear that from? Some girls. One girl actually knows someone in the government. She said the king's actually a girl, and she's the same really? age as Really? I wouldn't have guessed that at all. Me neither, but let's just be careful. Whoa, how come there's only a few people at our school? Most people got eliminated by their own family members. Because as you know, round three started early today, when everyone was still at home. So, we're lucky that we're still alive. Yes, I'm alive because of you. Yesterday you told me what symbol I had. Round four is about to start. Please enter your assigned room. Hurry up, what's my symbol? It's a club. Fourth round, now answer. What symbol is on your cheek? Club. More and more people are dying. Oh shoot, I forgot to tell Joe what his symbol is. I hope he's okay. Joe? Hey Amara, we're still alive. Oh my gosh Joe, you almost gave me a heart attack. Why didn't you ask me what your symbol was? I did, you answered me. You did? Yes, your symbol now is a spade. Thank you, yours is a spade too. There's only three of us left. That means it's one of us three. It's Jessica. No, it's Joe. He lied to me earlier about my symbol. Round five starts now. Please enter your room. It's already started. Fifth round. Now answer what symbol is on your cheek. Spade. Whoa, two shots. That means they all died. I won. I can see my dad's salary. I don't even expect it to be a lot. He doesn't even leave the house to work. <gasps> so all this time my dad's rich? Dad! What do you want? You get one million per month? Why didn't you tell anyone? I didn't tell you because I don't want you to be spoiled. <sighs> Who says anything about being spoiled? Every day at school, I'm hungry for a snack, but I never have any money to buy it. Okay, starting from today, I'll give you a thousand pounds a day. <sighs> okay, I have to keep your salary on private. Why are you keeping it private? <sighs> because I don't want my friends at school to like me just for money. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to school now. Bye. Hi, Amara. Hey. Why is your dad's salary private? Because I want to keep it private. Is there a problem with that? You put it on private because your dad's salary is poor, right? We can't be friends in that case. Bye. What? All right, it's your loss anyway. Okay, Klaus, we're going to be going on a trip to the zoo. Everyone follow me except Amara. Why, sir? Because you're poor. You won't be able to afford the visit. But, sir, I can pay for it. 
How are you going to pay? You're poor. You know what? What? They said the one whose father's salary is the highest will be the president of the student union. Who said that? I heard the teacher speaking about it earlier. I think Jessica's going to win because her father's salary is the highest. Attention, everyone. I will now announce the new president of the student union. Wait, you're announcing it now? Yes, the new president is Jessica. Her father's salary is 150000 150000 a month? Are you making fun of that salary? Get out of my way! Who dared to slap you like that? Some girl in class. Okay, from tomorrow you're putting my salary on public. I don't accept anyone slapping you. Look who's at school. I thought she'd be scared to come back. Yes, Jessica, she should be afraid of you. Me? Afraid of her? Never. But if you really want to know, this is the last time I'm here. But before I leave, I want to show you something. But before I leave, I want to show you something. What? What is your dad's salary? Exactly. You don't have to pretend like his salary is high. I'm not pretending. Just so you know, my dad's salary is 10 times higher than yours. Prove it then. That's right. You can't. You'll see later. Why is this happening? I'm so sick and tired of Jessica's arrogant behavior. My dad's salary is 1 million a month and her dad's only 150,000. What? Why don't you show it to everyone? Because it's not letting me put it on public. I wanted to show everyone that my dad's salary is higher than Jessica's. How much is your dad's salary anyway? If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Come on, just tell me. Okay, believe it or not, my dad's salary is 1 million per month. Almost 10 times higher than Jessica's dad, which is only 150,000 per month. Dad! Honey, why haven't you put my salary on public yet? That's the problem. I've tried, but it's not letting me. What do you mean? Does the system have an error or something? I don't know, but people are still bullying me. Okay, calm down. I'm gonna find a solution so you can put my salary on public. I really hope you can, Dad. Hey, I got bad news. What is it? Ever since Jessica became the president of the student council, she set a rule that everyone whose dad's salary is below 5,000 has to leave what? the school. What? That's not fair. When do they have to leave by? Tomorrow. This can't happen. Do you know where Jessica is? She's at the cafeteria. Come on. Just so you know, you can't make rules for the school that only benefits you. And who's going to forbid me? Not you, because tomorrow you'll be leaving the school. Didn't you say you were leaving today anyway? No, I'm not leaving anymore because my dad's salary is 10 times more than yours. If that's true, how comes you haven't proven it yet? Be careful because no one will leave the school except you. I have to become president of the student council today so I can remove these stupid rules set by Jessica. Excuse me, can you help me please? Help you with what? I lost all my money and I can't go home. Can you lend me some? Of course. Finally, I found a good person. Thank you very much. Since you were good to me, I'll put your dad's salary on public. <sighs> Huh? How did you do that? Because I'm the one who controls the system. What? How did you do that? Because I'm the one who controls the system. What? So, all this time it was you? Yes, but sometimes the system lags. Hopefully there will be no error again. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you as well. Finally, I can put my dad's salary on public. That means I can become president today. Hey, Amara! Where's Jessica? I hope she changed the stupid rule she made up. No, she hasn't. Everyone's gathered in the hall. She's making sure everyone whose dad's salary is under 5,000 gets kicked out. We need to go there, now. In accordance with the new rules I've made, starting from today, anyone whose father's salary is under 5,000 needs to leave the school immediately. I don't agree. Amara, you again. You can't stop me. I'm the president of the student council. Sir, I want you to replace me with Jessica as the new president of the student council. And why should I do that? Because my dad's salary is higher than hers. Do you have any proof? Yes, in fact, I'll show you now. What? How is this possible? Well, it's clear Amara's dad's salary is higher than Jessica's. So she will be the new president starting today. What? Sir, you can't do that. And according to what I said yesterday, I'm kicking you out of the school. Since you're the new president, do you want to make any new rules? Yes, I want to change the money rule. Anyone should be able to study at the school, no matter how much money they have. Congrats on being the new president. Thank you. I'm going to the canteen. I'll tell them you'll pay for my food later, since you have so much money. Bye! Hey, wait! I can see someone's last drink or last meal. 
I think the last meal is more interesting. Mom, I'm gonna eat quickly before going to school. Oh my gosh, you ate a cockroach? Yeah, I wanted to try it. I learned how to fry it online. Do you want to try some? No, thank you. I'm going to school. Bye. Wait, before you go, here, take a couple with you so you can eat them at lunch. Whatever, mom. Thanks. It turns out all my friends are healthy because they eat vegetables all the time. Amara, what's that in your lunchbox? What kind of food is that? It looks delicious. The fried cockroaches. Do you want to try some? Sure, I've never had them before. I heard they're really good. Thank you for sharing your lunch. You're usually very stingy. I feel bad for you because you eat vegetables all the time. How do you know that I eat vegetables? Because I can see people's last meal. If that's true, can you check my last meal? Chicken liver? Gosh, you're right. But please don't tell anyone I have this power. I feel like everyone who ate your cockroach yesterday is gone. Huh? Gone? How? They didn't come to school today. Who made that cockroach? My mom, but it's impossible that she would poison my lunch. The teacher now suspects you. Luckily, I didn't try your lunch yesterday, so I'm saved. You wanted to see me, sir? Aria said you can see someone's last meal, right? But I told her not to tell anyone. Is that true, Amara? Yes, sir. Meet me at the school warehouse at 3 this afternoon. I wonder why he wants me to meet him at that exact time. Okay, sir. Why does it smell so rotten in here? You should see their last meal. Huh? Them? That's my friends who didn't show up to school today. Why do they look so pale? Everyone who ate your cockroach died. One of them, as you know, is the president's daughter. There's no way. I guarantee my lunch wasn't poisoned. I need you to please look at their last meal. Huh? Why can't I see it? The last meal isn't appearing, sir. Okay, I'll give you three hours. If you can't prove it, you'll be found guilty and will be punished. Buy these glasses, please. They're cheap. No, thanks. I don't want to buy any glasses. But they have a great power. You won't regret it. Great power? Okay, who knows? Maybe they can help me. I'll take them. You're here, which means you can see people's last meals, right? I'll try, sir. This is your last chance. Okay, I'll put on these glasses first. So, what's the last meal? Gosh, so they really did die because of the lunch I gave them. Hello, answer me. Um, it wasn't because of me, sir. The last meal was chicken soup. Okay, now keep this a secret from everyone. So, I'm not in trouble, right, sir? No, but please keep this a secret. Yes, of course. Where did you just come from, Amara? I was just walking around the school. I'm really starting to get worried about our friends. Do you think something bad happened to them? No, I don't think so. Honey, you're back from school. Let's have lunch. I just cooked. What's our lunch this time? Cockroaches. Why? I don't know if I should eat it, but I need to find out if the reason my friends died was because of them. You don't want to eat the food? Yes, I, I do, Mom. Well, it tastes really good, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Why didn't anything happen? I'll get it. Hey, I brought you a bag filled with food. You did? I don't think I can accept this, sir. If you don't, I'll reduce your grades. Okay, I'll accept it. Why is he forcing me to take this? This is so weird. I have to find out who was responsible for what happened at school yesterday. Amara, you're finally here. Huh, Stephanie? How are you still alive? Am I in heaven? I'm still alive, and we all need your help to avoid the teacher. So you faked your death? Yes. Choose glasses that can see people's last drink or last meal. Last drink, because I want to know who drinks my coffee in the morning. Amara, why haven't you left your room yet? You're going to be Mom, late. I know. I'm leaving now. Okay, hurry up. Wait for me to drink coffee first. What? How come my coffee mug is empty again? Did you drink the coffee that was on my table, Mom? It wasn't me who drank it. I don't even like coffee. You don't like coffee? It was you who drank it. Your last drink is coffee. What? How did you know that? I'm not going to tell you. Hey, make me another one. Let's go to school. We're about to be late. Okay, sis. I'll be ready soon. Sewage water? You drink sewage water? Yes, because sewage water makes us more beautiful. No, it doesn't. Who told you that? My best friend. She drinks sewage water all the She's time. She's lying to you. No, she would never do that. She's my best friend, so I trust her. I have a really stupid sister. Hey, bestie. Hey. Did you know we're going to have to donate blood tomorrow again? 
another blood donation? Didn't we donate blood last week? Yes, but there's a lot of people who needs blood out there, Amara. True. Oh yeah, I just found out. My sister's still drinking sewage water. Just leave her. Maybe she likes the taste of it. What? I have a sister who likes to drink sewage water and a friend who likes to drink fish pond water. Amara, you're donating blood again tomorrow, right? No, sir. I'm not going to because I already did last week. If you're selfish and don't want to donate your blood, you can't come to school again. Okay, fine. I'll donate blood again, but just please don't kick me out of the school. I heard tomorrow the principal's son will help with the blood donation. The principal's son? Is he a doctor? Yes, he's a doctor who graduated from Harvard. He's so hot, so stay away from him. He's mine. How do you expect him to date someone who drinks fish pond water? What? No, I don't. I'm gonna go to bed early, so I'm ready for the blood donation tomorrow. Hey, sis, did you drink any water yet? Yeah, I did loads. Did you? Yes, my friend said that toilet water makes our faces glow. <sighs> it's so hard having a sister who's this stupid. Mom, Amara called me stupid. Good morning, Mom. I'm going to school. Okay, honey, I prepared lunch for you. Thanks, Mom. Why does your school always have blood donations anyway? I don't know. They have them every week. Maybe the blood stocks in the hospital are running low. Maybe. Class 11C. Amara, what class did you get? I got 11C. Exchange with me, please. Why? Because the principal's son will be there. In that case, no, I'm not exchanging. I'm curious, how handsome could the principal's son be? Excuse me, I didn't mean to bump into you. You're the principal's son, right? Nice to meet you, I'm Amara. I'm Dr. Tyson, I have to go because I have a lot of things to prepare. His last drink was from my blood donation last week. What kind of human is he?